The play of color seen in a brilliant cut diamond and the colorful rainbow produced by water droplets in the air reveal there is more to white light than meets the eye. One of the most obvious properties of visible light is that it exists in different colors. The color of light is determined by its wavelength. Light of one color is called monochromatic light. White light is a mixture of all visible colors. When a beam of white light passes through a glass prism, its path is bent or refracted. The resulting beam is dispersed into a spectrum of colors. Similarly, a rainbow results from the dispersion of light by water droplets in the air. Dispersion of light in a transparent material occurs because the index of refraction of the material varies with wavelength. The index of refraction is higher for shorter wavelengths. Which color is refracted more by the prism? Red, green, or blue? Correct. Blue light has the shortest wavelength of the three and thus is refracted the most. Light dispersion varies among different materials. For example, diamond is five times more dispersive than glass, which explains its colorful brilliance. Visible light makes up just a tiny portion of a large electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves are at the low frequency, long wavelength end of the spectrum. These wave frequencies are used for broadcast transmissions. Next larger in frequency are the microwaves, used to cook food and transmit cell phone messages. Then come infrared radiation, or IR, waves, which we sense as radiant heat. Wavelengths in the narrow visible spectrum range from 750 nanometers for the color red to 400 nanometers for the color violet. Just beyond the visible range at shorter wavelengths lie ultraviolet or UV radiation waves. Exposure to these waves are the cause of sunburns and skin cancer. X-rays and gamma rays lie at the high frequency, short wavelength end of the electromagnetic spectrum. X-rays are commonly used to produce images for medical and dental exams. Gamma rays are products of nuclear decay. Which of the following has the shortest wavelength? Correct. The UV ray has the shortest wavelength. Because light is a transverse wave, it can have a preferential orientation, or polarization. The direction of polarization is taken as the direction of the electric field vector. Light emitted from a typical source is normally unpolarized, because such light waves are randomly oriented. A special filter, known as a polarizer, can produce polarized light from unpolarized light. Note that in passing through the polarizer, the intensity of the light is reduced, as only light waves with a certain orientation can pass through the filter. The same filter can be used as an analyzer to determine whether or not light is polarized. If light is unpolarized, the analyzer allows the same amount of light to pass through regardless of the rotational orientation of the analyzer. However, when the light is polarized and the analyzer is rotated, maximum light is transmitted when the axis of the analyzer is parallel to the light's plane of polarization. And no light at all is transmitted when the analyzer is rotated such that its axis is perpendicular to the plane of polarization. What do you think will happen if we insert a third polarizing filter, one that is oriented at an angle of 45 degrees between the other two filters? Incorrect. Try again. Incorrect. Try again. Correct. Some light passes through, 
because the light reaching the analyzer is no longer oriented perpendicular to its axis. Light can be partially polarized by reflection from a horizontal surface. For this reason, the filters that make up polarizing sunglasses are oriented in the vertical direction to maximize glare reduction.